You don't want this ball going to anyone else. What a great goal that was. Efrain Alvarez, uh, 19 years old, man. And, uh, you're very young, but you got a very long resume, so let's dive into it. Um, but let's start actually at the beginning, kind of with your, your first steps in soccer. What, what are your first memories of the game? My first, first memories were when my dad, uh, I mean, my brother was still pretty young. He had like a Sunday, Saturday league team. I mean, I remember going every Saturday, every Sunday to, to the field, you know, I was very small, but I remember like every Saturday, Sunday we was wake up at six o'clock and go to the field, go set up because back then, I don't know, they still do now. Like the, there was goals, but without nets. So like the coaches needed to take the nets. So my dad would need to go take the net and hang the net and stuff. So we'll have to be there pretty early. And I remember since there, like I just started kicking the ball with my mom with the players my dad had, you know, my brothers and stuff. You talk a lot about family there. Like how important was the fact that your family was so involved in the game on your early career? I mean, that's where I, I I mean, I fell in love with the game, you know, I was not, I think it was not for my parents being around the game. I would have honestly never thought about the game, you know, it's just the way I grew up. My dad, ever since he was young, he played at Chivas. Uh, when he got here, he made a team for my brothers to play. And I mean, he gave us the right path, you know, like my older brother, he played a uh, second division in Mexico. He came back and then my Old, uh, other older brother, he played, I don't know, Chivas USA, Colorado, you know, different teams, you know, so, I mean, he gave us the right path. So you grew up in LA, you're born in LA. When you finally make that move to the Galaxy Academy, what does it mean for you the first time you, you put on the shirt and at the academy level, at least, you're, you're representing the LA Galaxy? I, it was like a dream come true because at that time, like, it was Gio playing, it was Jonah playing, uh, Robbie, it was Donovan, you know, it was a lot of players that you're like, wow, you know, you see on TV, especially, and you're just like, wow, like, and then sometimes that we go out training and they're going to training, you know, it's just, you see the players from far and stuff, and sometimes, like in the locker room, it was just like a, a big, like, wow for me, you know, like more starstruck than anything. What were the experiences in the academy like? Did you have uh, a positive time in terms of your development? Yeah, I mean, I mean, the Galaxy has a very good development program, you know, here. Uh, it was school, school was like introduced here at that time when I got moved here. So, I mean, I think that that piece was a lot helpful for me being mm -hmm. like I could do school here after I finished training and stuff was something like not to be in the rush, say, wake up in the morning, go to school and then come train in the afternoon. It was like first soccer and then school, you know, so it's uh, I think they helped us a lot to say like, you know, like finish your soccer, you know, achieve your dream. Like obviously uh, school comes important, you know, but they were there to help us like achieve our dream that was to play professional soccer, you know? So, I mean, a galaxy has a lot to do with it. What were some of the biggest differences between the academy and kind of the youth soccer experiences that you'd had before that? Just waking up, like waking up every morning and saying, I'm gonna come, Train, you know, the, that's the first thing I'm gonna do. I'm gonna come and put on my soccer training gear, you know, and gonna go train. And the other academies, I mean, they were just like, you gotta go to school, you gotta, and then go home and then go to training in the afternoon, not every day, you know. Here in the academy, it's like every day you gotta train. It's like a professional environment, you know, so it's something that's completely different, you know, but at the same time, you have to do school. So that, I mean, they they leveled it pretty good, you know, like, to, uh, like you guys do whatever you guys want like you guys focus in your soccer career but when it comes to school you guys have to finish school you know so when does the senior team come onto your radar and, and what's that moment when you get that that first taste of senior team action like at 15 i started uh training with the first team i was already getting uh I, that's when i signed my first professional contract with the second team and with the first team um i was training with the first team at 15 and then uh, I was playing in with the second team. But I mean, at that time, I think Ibra, yeah, Ibra got here that year. I remember uh, it was like, I was like superstar starstruck the first time they, uh, Shiggy called me. I was training with the second team 
and the field's like a little bit further away. So he's, um, they told me, like they pulled me away from the second team and they said, oh, should we call you to go train with the first team? And I was like, oh, wow, really? Like, you know, well, I was 15 years old, you know. And then going to the field and they're waiting for me because, uh, I mean, I think he got a number down or something. So they were all waiting for me. And like, meanwhile, I was running into the field. I was like, don't trip, don't, don't do the little things, you know, because I was like, they're all looking at me. So I was pretty like nervous, you know. As an academy kid, how do you look at the older guys and, and how do you feel about kind of reaching for that that first team football when, when you're still haven't haven't tasted it yet? No, I mean at that time I was just enjoying it, you know. I was just having fun like with my idols. I mean Ibra, like Gio, Jonah, you know, like they were like I was just trying to like make talk with them, you know, like try to get stuff out of them, like to improve my game, you know. So it was just like, I was like a sponge, you know, trying to get all the good from them. Your first season, man, you get to work with Zlatan. You guys had like a pretty special relationship. He seemed to take a liking to you. Uh, what was it like working with him and, and playing uh, playing alongside one of the greats? Yeah, my first season, I mean, it, it was something great, you know, having Ibra next to me every day was something, I mean, awesome for me. And still to date, you know, I still text him every day, you know, I still, Talk to him after the, he won the championship. Like we talked and everything, you know. So I'm happy for him. I mean, he is who he is, and he shows it every time. You know, like he, they said he was done. He came here and destroyed it. They said he was done again. He went back to Italy and destroyed it again. I mean, this guy's insane. You know, um, he helped us a lot. He helped me a lot, especially. Yeah, we had a great connection, um, and I hope he continues to have great success. I don't know if you're like every other kid that grows up playing soccer. I assume the ultimate goal is the World Cup, right? And at some point, as you're going through the Galaxy Academy, having a success, eventually you start to get international interest, in your case, from both sides. What does it mean that first time you get you get that call from like from, from the international level, even if it's like under 15? Yeah, I mean, when I was young, uh, it was first the US and then Mexico called me. I remember uh, Juan Carlos Ortega. He came to he came to the house. Uh, he was talking with my dad on the couch, and then I was sleeping in my parents' room. And I heard my dad talking to someone. I was like, "Who's that?" So I came out, and I thought it was one of my dad's friends. So then I was like, "Oh, like hi, like my name's Jeffrey, you know, blah blah." And he's all like, "Oh yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm so and so. I'm from the Mexico national team. You know, I come here to uh, introduce myself and wanted to invite you to a, a national team camp." And I was like, what? Mexico. And that, you know, like at that time, Mexico, you know, that's what I would wa always watch. And it was my dream, you know, to play for Mexico. I told my dad, dad, I really want to go try this out. And when I went there, um, I loved it. I loved that. I think the first team was there at the same time. So sometimes I would, ha I would go see them train and it was like something like awesome for me. Cause it was all like in the same facility, you know, it was something awesome for me. And I came back and I told my dad, you know what, dad, I want to stay here. And, and that's how everything went. Uh, let's go through some of your latest exploits, man. The goal against Charlotte. Alvarez trying his leg at the goal! Efrain Alvarez with an absolute stutter to silence the biggest crowd in MLS history. The one that, that shut the stadium up with 70,000 some people there. What was that like? That one was good. That, I mean, it was, it was awesome, you know, shutting them up. Uh, I remember they were talking a lot of crap to us, so it was just to prove them, you know, LA's this year is they're going super far. I hope we go far, you know. There it is, man. Contundente, Efrain, thanks very much. Great stuff. Thank you. Thank you.